Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and thank you for joining me for the Lord's Word of God today. We celebrate Yeshua, Jesus, the one who is, was, and is to come, and there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, today's message is about faith can move mountains. And what that means is you're not going to move a mountain literally, but it means you can handle any problem that arises. Amen? Amen. Not everyone who says they have faith really has faith. When God puts the spirit of judgment in you, he judges the mind first and then the heart. So brothers and sisters, in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, the book is full of patriarchs with great faith. And so let us look at that today. If you brought your Bibles today, please turn with me to the book of Hebrews chapter 11. And we'll start reading verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. For faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of the things that are visible. So you must read the Bible to know that it is true and faithful. The Bible is the truth. The Old Testament prophesied of Jesus, and the New Testament is the gospel. And the first four books of the New Testament is the gospel of Jesus. And Jesus teaches us of God and about God. So brothers and sisters, if you're called to be a child of God, and you read the word of God, the truth, God will open your eyes, ears, heart, mind, and soul to the truth. And the truth will set you free. Amen? Amen. And so now reading about faith, let's turn to the book of Mark chapter 4. And we'll start reading in verse 35. On the same day when the evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern asleep on a pillow. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And then he arose and rebuked the wind. And he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? And so the Lord proved to those on the boat that God is bigger than the waves that were crashing on the boat. Our God is a big God, bigger than anything in the universe. Amen? Amen. As God told Job, Can you play with Leviathan as though he is a little bird? Leviathan was a big, huge dinosaur, brothers and sisters. Our God is a big God. Amen? Amen. And he can do anything. Amen? Amen. So the storm came to test their faith. And as Jesus rebuked the wind, he rebuked them for their lack of faith. People do one of two things when they're going through a trial. They either run to God or from God. And we always need to run to God. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, the reason we have trials is to get better, to get closer to God. Amen? Amen. So we must be tested to grow in Christ, whom God has drawn, has grown from one grace to another. Jesus said in John chapter 14, At that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. So praise Jesus. Praise Yeshua. Amen? Amen. So if you're saved today, you believe the only begotten Son came incarnated from heaven, died, was buried, and arose for your sins and mine, and you have repented of your sinful ways. Brothers and sisters, you have Jesus inside of you right now, the Holy Spirit. So praise God, praise Yeshua. Amen? Amen. And Jesus will never forsake you. He gives us more grace to endure the suffering. One time, my dad and I were working on a house that was being built. Beautiful house. And he asked me one day, he said, Joe, do you ever imagine living in a home like this? And I responded with, no, dad, my mansion's in heaven. And brothers and sisters, that's the mindset you need to have. 
Know that you have riches waiting for you in heaven. So set your sights on heavenly things, not earthly things that just perish, because your heavenly gifts are going to last forever and ever. Amen? Amen. So get excited about that. In James chapter 1, verse 12, it reads, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Brothers and sisters, the crown of life is for enduring trials. Amen? Amen. Brothers and sisters, havoc is coming. War is coming to the earth. Nations are going to move to fight Israel, but the Lord will save the remnant. The message is for the Jews, but it is the world that is in jeopardy. So no matter what happens to you, your family, or what's going on around you. Know that God is a big God, and he will take care of his own. Amen? Amen. So, brothers and sisters, continue keeping the faith and taking Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him, and continue reading your Bible every day and praying up every day and keeping the love of Jesus in our hearts and we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.